Alright, this is a video we're going to be talking about star maps, planispheres and astrolabes. Just the general setup of how they're uh, how they're made, why, why they're displayed in this sort of way. Obviously, like most things, it's, it's to make things easier, really. Uh, though, no, maybe they might be confusing. Um, a star map is basically going to be a map of the heavens as seen from uh, from the planet, from the surface of the planet. Um, and basically, humans had to decide on a way of uh, you know displaying this knowledge. And the one we use at the moment is kind of uh, left over from the Greeks, who understood um, that everything was on the plane. They may not, they may have argued about whether the sun was at the centre or, or whatnot. But they certainly knew that it was all all on the plane. It was all on the flat level. That the planets moved through uh, the stars that would be in the distance there, and the zodiac, and that. Uh, that the Earth was through there, and they um, they tried to make a map of the heavens, uh, kind of the one we're left with today. And they didn't use this solar plane as as their as their basis for it. Um, they used uh, the equator of uh, of the planet um, to put this line out, and you come what you call the celestial equator. So it's the, the equator, but going out in the heavens to infinity, an imaginary line, obviously, um, going off. And that is at the zero mark point. In the same way as when we make maps of planet Earth, we have the equator runs runs through the centre. And we've got a map over here, might make it clearer. So we're very used to this. We're used to seeing what's here. You know, something is pretty unusual really. When you think about it, you're getting something that's a sphere, a circle, and we turn it into a square map. And we're very used to, we've got the equator runs through the centre, the North Pole ends up kind of being stretched like right across and the South Pole along there, you know, up top of this. But that's what you have to give up to make something square into, uh, from, a, uh, from a sphere. Well, this exactly the same thing happens when we make uh, maps of the stars, of the whole sphere that we're standing inside of the stars. You end up with this line here runs across and it is the celestial equator, the zero zero, the, the point, the, any stars that um, are above this line that goes off into space from uh, the equator all the way around will be on this part and any that are below that line um, are, are on this part. It's, uh, and it also uses slightly different jargon to uh, what we used to for making maps, we all probably know that on a, a general Earth map, if you're running um, along, you end up with uh, what we call longitude, running from 0 to 360. Um, on a star map, you have exactly the same system, except for we divide it all into 24 hours. Um, and those 24 hours are then divided into minutes, so if you have something that's along this, it'll be 14 hours, 37 minutes will be a, uh, the coordinate there. I'm running up and down where we have latitude. We use the latitude starting at zero from the equator. Well, zero from the celestial equator, running up right to 90 to the point, say, so for the pole star, or running to minus 90 from the point that's uh, right below the south pole. And um, that's called declination, deck. That's what it's done. I don't know if you see letters deck, it's called, and um, running along right ascension and so if you uh, find in a um, magazine or something will tell you right ascension for uh, say a comet and I often you often see there a very faint comet you can see it with the telescope and they will give you the RA and deck the right ascension uh, 17 hours 30 seconds 30 minutes rather um, will be there and it'll be say minus 20 declination. You can f find that exact point, it'll be the exact coordinate. Um, most star maps, you don't often see them like this. Then This isn't the most useful way of displaying the information. What usually happens, and what you can't really do with an Earth map because you're walking on it, but on a star map because you're actually inside the, the sphere. You always see a dome of, uh, you always see half a sphere at any time. But you can get this square map you can actually wrap it around you. you. You can wrap it around you and then fold the um, points in at the top, fold that north all in at the top, and you end up with 
um, a star map that looks like this. With this you have this celestial equator is running round there. You just run it around and the north isn't. It's just one single point right in the middle. Um, and it actually, actually flares off at the edge. Uh, for, it keeps going off at the edge, but um, so it's slightly warped from how you see it, but it's a pretty good representation. And again, um, this is more commonly a kind of planispheric star map that you're likely to come across. Um, and with it, if, again, if you saw the same comment, it said uh, 17 hours, you've got R, the RA runs around the bottom here. It's like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 hours, 37 minutes, and the declination, if it's minus 20, there's the zero, zero, because that's your uh, celestial equator, it'll be 10, 20, it'll be, it'll be around there in Scorpio. Um, a very useful um, object. Now this star map here shows all the stars that are going to be visible from where I am. I'm more or less on the meridian and about 51 degrees um, latitude from the equator on this planet and this is all the stars I'm going to see and um, as we move, as the planet moves around the sun I tend to see different uh, stars at different times of the year um, in the winter we don't get to see many of these stars these stars are the ones that the sun's in front of we never, we never get to see them um, so we can actually have devices that block off stars not visible at different times of the year um, we have two. I've only got a uh, planisphere for Australia, strangely enough. Um, and this device will, as you as you spin it, will just block off the stars that aren't visible. You, you get them for the uh, for all sorts of latitudes in the northern hemisphere as well. Um, the objects I make are called astrolabes, are much more accurate than a planisphere. It will actually tell you um, the amount of degrees off the horizon, it will tell you an exact coordinate position and with this you are left with a star map so you can see that a star maps underneath is exactly the same um, and this overlay as, as you spin it round as you match up the time here with the date it's basically blocking off the stars that aren't visible and then showing exactly where the ones that are visible up in the sky for at any time of uh, day or night. Um, but I'll go into the use of the astrolabe in another video. So I hope that makes sense with the, uh, with the star maps, cleared up a few uncertainties and thanks very much for watching.